Hey folks, it's James here, or Movie Mad, whichever you like to call me, and I have uh, got a few pickups over the last few days, and I shall show you them. Uh, so, oh, I'm too close to my shelves there. Uh, so, I've got a Bella Lucy's Invis Invisible Ghost. I've never seen this, it looks like a black and white film. And it says approximately 65 minutes, region zero, so it's all cases a bit, shall we say, knackered. But uh, there you go. It was uh, 25p, so I'll usually chuck out the case in this case anyway and put it, these DVDs in my boxes because I've not got anywhere really to store them. I picked up this one, Secretary. I think I've seen this one, but I'll be honest with you, I can't. Is it not Gyllenhaal? Is it? What's her name? Maggie Gyllenhaal, yeah. So I picked that up and James Spader, but I don't. I think I've seen this, but I'm not 100% sure. I, I also picked up. A Super 8. I think I've got this on Blu-ray already, but I picked up the Steelbook uh, for £2, so pretty nice. It's got the Blu-ray and the DVD. I wonder if there's any artwork underneath this. There's a little bit. There's some like, stills in that, so you can see that. There you go. It's actually pretty good. Oh, before I forget, I just wanted to mention to you about the end of October competition. Now, as you know, I've sent a package to Blu-ray Brit with some uh, uh, Blu-rays and things like that in it. A few bits and pieces. Well, it's quite a lot, actually. He's added to it as well. So, just remember, if you are wanting to enter the end of the month competition, you have to subscribe to both channels and put a comment on the competition video or any one of my videos if you want to do that and uh, we'll make sure you get entered for it. So do check out his video, it'll show you the, there's two or three that shows you all the prizes that are in for the end of the month competition. Uh, and there, so that'd be great. I, oh. Oh dear. A bit of uh, technical malfunction in there, but to be honest with you, I've got that taped to my door handle. And uh, it was only way I could uh, sort of get stable in the position I'm in, so there you go. I uh, also picked up, I've never seen this, and that is the complete series of Painkiller Jane with Christina Loken. And I picked that up for four, four pounds. So I thought for the complete series, I wonder how many, if it's just one series or two. but. It's got 983 minutes running time, so I imagine it's a pretty decent number of episodes in there. And it's a six disc set, so there we go. It says, uh, basically she's a DEA agent recruited by a covert government to, unit to hunt superhuman neurological aberrations. Well, I think I'm going to have a bit of, I'm gonna have to find a better way to secure that, haven't I? But I'll look persist for now, if it falls to again, I'll just fix it. Uh, oh dear, so there you go. Uh, also, I'll be honest, I picked this one up for my son. Because he, he is he's Pokemon daft. And I seen this in the CEX and I couldn't resist it for him. It was quite a bit of money. But to be honest, it was all credit. I never actually spent any physical money. And that is Pokemon Indigo League Series 1. And it's got 52 episodes. It comes in two nice covers, I noticed that. And it has got five discs I think on there, volume 1.1, volume 1.2 but he loves the Pokemon so I thought he, to get that on DVD brand new is £25 itself so and I was looking at that for him but uh, it was it was a bit beyond my price range at the time but to see it in CX when I had store credit I thought that would be a great pick up for him uh, to be honest I have watched it myself with him and I thought it was pretty good I also picked up another copy of Season 1, Volume 1 of the Thundercats. This one's in a bit better condition than the one I had picked up, so happy with that. And it's episodes 1 to 33 of 65. I've got the second half of this, but it's got one disc missing, so I really need to look out for this. I actually picked this one up for my dad, but he uh, didn't want it, so I think I'm going to do it. Like the case, it's the Kylie Minogue Shogunog Tour. There you go. DVD. It's not a Mac cup of tea, to be honest with you, but... In terms of watching DVDs, that is. Uh, but I picked it up and it's got a nice old retro case on it. There you go, it was 25p. 
I also picked up three episodes of the Star Trek the original series on DVD and that's where No Man Has Gone Before, The Corbinite Maneuver and Mud's Moon, which is quite relevant considering the, the Star Trek Discovery. I went, why? I'm trying to film a video here, but geez. Obviously having some kind of conversation. Right. There you go. So I picked up those, those there. Excuse me. There we go. They know, they know it's bedtime, so they're on their swings. Uh, so there you go. I also picked up Legends of the Guardians, The Isles of Cahoo, on Blu-ray. Someone told me a while ago this was a really good movie, so for a pound I thought it was well worth picking up. Again, still credit, I didn't actually spend anything. I traded in those three Star Trek Nemesis steelbooks I got from Zoom for £10, and I got £24 credit. So I bought that. And I bought Pam Greer in Foxy Brown and I got £17 credit back. So I got those two and I got £17 credit back for my Zoom purchases. This one actually, I was sorry, I should have showed you in a bit more detail. But uh, in fact, I'll take the CEX label off so you can see the... I'm sure you're really interested in sticking and taking off. There we go. There we go. So I uh, picked that up too and opened it up and it's got a nice wee booklet and stuff like that in it. So no bad. It look, again, it looks like a, it's a nice arrow release. Uh, I probably could have got that out of HMV for £6 as well, but as I say, for six credits, so it's got a nice wee booklet in it. Not always do you get them in CEX, things like that. So there you go. Not happy with that one. And it says she's the meanest chick in town when Foxy Brown's undercover agent boyfriend is gunned down on the orders of a real drug kingpin. She stops at nothing. And this is from 1973, so happy to get that one too. Now, these last few, I'll be honest, I don't know if I've shown them in another pickup video. I don't think I have. Uh, and that is The Hills of Eyes, the remake. I actually really enjoyed this film. It, it's a bit brutal, but uh, it's a. Pretty interesting. I also picked up this one I haven't heard, and that's an 88 films release of uh, one of the greatest zombie movies you're about to see, finally black in its collection, and that's The Boneyard. So I haven't actually seen The Boneyard, and I like zombie post apocalyptic uh, don't forget the words out, post apocalyptic films. That's probably my best genre, sci science fiction and zombies and things like that. I think that's probably my best uh, genre that I like to watch. Uh, so I picked that up too. wonder if there's anything in that. No, just put in case. Probably showing that way over the wrong bit, but never mind. Let's have a look in the Hills of Eyes while we're here. See, this looks like one of the older releases because it's, you can tell it goes, the revolution of Blu-ray disc. Play on your PlayStation 3. But there you go. 2006, so there you go. And I did find the Avengers Assemble for 99p. Now, I, ha I sent over a copy of this to Blu-ray Brit, and he is going to add that into the competition pile. With He's going to keep the German case, and he's going to give the regular case uh, with it. So, there you go. Uh, so, so, he's going to do that, but uh, excellent. So, another good find. I also picked up a film that, right, next time I've got to do better, better, uh, better settings for my uh, camera, uh, but there you go, also, dear, oh dear, oh dear. Right, there you go. Hopefully that'll stay to the end of the video. Uh, so I also picked up the Gary Oldman as Winston Churchill in the darkest hour. Uh, that, that does have the digital code in it. So if anyone, I don't, I see I got this out second hand, so if anyone's interested in it, they can have the digital code for that. But I was going to see that in the cinema and I had to cancel for some reason. And I really wanted to look forward to that film, so I'm glad I found that. 
and hopefully you can see the digital code. I've no idea how I'm doing this because I can't see the camera for this angle. Right, hopefully that was long enough for you to to uh, get it if you want it. And I also picked up Season 6 of The Simpsons for one ninety nine. I think I've got Season 6, Season 5 and Season 14 now. Always oh, good to find The Simpsons for one ninety nine. Happy with that. And I picked up Tron Legacy. Now, this is one Blu-ray 3D disc. Now, I don't have a 3D TV. But I've always wanted to get one, and some, I'm sure sometime in the future I'll get a second hand one somewhere, and so we can watch, so we could watch the ones, and this is region free, so picked up that too, and that's Strong Legacy in 3D. So that is some of my pickups, uh, just again just wanted to say thanks to all the new subscribers that are on, on there, I think I've got, I, I did film my 100 subscriber video, but it dropped down to 99, but now I seem to have got about 106, so that's great, uh, always, always good to uh, increase the old subscriber pool, I appreciate that and everybody watching, it's good to know when you're filming these that people do actually want to watch, so, well, you know what? Probably after this video and all my camera falling over, they probably didn't want to watch. But there you go. So I've got uh, the, all those pickups. As I say, if you want to go into the competition, it is a big prize for October. Ha check out Blu ray Bullet Switch's latest video. I'll put a link down in the description there. If you do want to enter the competition, then let us know. And uh, again, thank you guys for watching and thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel and you want to subscribe, we'd appreciate that. And I'd also appreciate a thumbs up or a thumbs down, depending on if you like the video. Probably a thumbs down for my camera, but never mind. Cheers, guys.